It's been nearly 100 years since the first health clinic of what later would become Planned Parenthood opened its doors to women in Brooklyn. And for nearly a century now, one core principle has guided everything all of you do, that women should be allowed to make their own decisions about their own health. It's a simple principle. So when I see in this audience extraordinary doctors and nurses and advocates and staff who work tirelessly to keep the doors uh, at health centers all across the country going, uh, then I'm reminded of those very early efforts uh, and all the strides that we've made in subsequent decades. One in five women in this country has turned to Planned Parenthood for health care. One in five. And for many, Planned Parenthood is their primary source of health care, not just for contraceptive care, but for life-saving preventive care, like cancer screenings and health counseling. As we know, uh, so when politicians try to turn Planned Parenthood into a punching bag, they're not just talking about you. They're talking about the millions of women who you, uh, who you serve. And when they talk about cutting off your funding, let's be clear, they're talking about telling many of those women you're on your own. They're talking about shutting those women out at a time when they may need it most. It's about standing shutting off communities that need more health care options for women, not less. So the fact is, after decades of progress, there's still those who want to turn back the clock to policies more suited to the 1950s than the 21st century. And they've been involved in an orchestrated and historic effort to roll back basic rights when it comes to women's health. Forty-two states have introduced laws that would ban or severely limit access to a woman's right to choose, laws that would make it harder for women to get the contraceptive care that they need, laws that would cut off access to cancer screenings and end educational programs that help prevent teen pregnancy. Forty years after the Supreme Court affirmed a woman's constitutional right to privacy, including the right to choose, we shouldn't have to remind people that when it comes to a woman's health, no politician should get to decide what's best for you. No insurer should get to decide what kind of care that you get. The only person who should get to make decisions about your health is you. That's why we fought so hard to make health care reform a reality. As long as we've got a fight to make sure women have access to quality, affordable health care, and as long as we've got to fight to protect a woman's right to make her own choices about her own health, I want you to know that you've also got a president who's going to be right there with you fighting every step of the way. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. God bless you.